Hey guys, and welcome to another Mix Tips. Today, we are looking at using an API style EQ to kind of make guitars a little bit fatter, bigger, and stick out a little bit in the mix. Now, I had this project Six Feet Apart, which was a collab kind of competition set up by Hen and Pauli, uh, otherwise known as HP42. Um, you can check out the video, it is in the videos and I'll put the kind of uh, link up here. Um, but basically I found with the guitars, they needed a little bit more oomph to sit through, just a little bit of something, a little bit of edge, a little bit of something. And so I reached for the FGA from Slate and I thought I'd just share what I did here because... I really love this EQ for doing this thing. It's just making things a little bit more aggressive, making it kind of come out a little bit more, just give everything a little bit more depth and punch. It's it's great on snares for that, but yeah, I really wanted to show on guitars. So what I'm going to do is play it from a section. We have it off at the moment. Um, so these are the two rhythm guitars you'll hear in the left and right, and we'll also I also did stuff in the solo. And basically what I did on this guitar is add a little bit of 2.5, a little bit of 2, and took out a little bit of 0.6, and added a little bit of low end, which is 300. So the idea here is to kind of just give it a little bit more mids, uh, very kind of specific mids just to kind of fit a little bit better and uh, similar here the the just a bit a little bit of the boost in the 0.6 and this was to kind of um differentiate it a little bit from the other guitar they're similar parts um double tracked but basically one's a little bit higher but the idea was to get it stand out a little bit more by differentiating differentiating them with this eq so i'm going to just play this chorus section and we'll turn the eqs on So they, they sound fine, but we'll go back and we'll turn them on. Okay, now with them on. It's just a little bit more up front. Now it is really subtle, I'll solo the guitars just so you can hear them, but the idea is not for them to sound good soloed, it's for them to sound good in the mix. But um, yeah, it's really just adding those mid frequencies, you can kind of hear, it just, it just comes out a little bit, and it might sound like it's a bit louder, but I've actually compensated here with the output, so it isn't actually any louder, it just... It just fits a bit better. Now, this might not be what you want. You might want your guitars to sit back a little bit for the vocals to come through or for something else to come through. Now, this was kind of a guitar competition, so I wanted my guitars to stand out, but I just didn't want to turn them up and make them just bloody loud. So so it's all about taste. I mean, that's the thing. They Take these tips kind of into consideration of what you need in your mix and what your guitars sound like. I pick these frequencies based on what the guitars sound like, but but you can kind of go anywhere, the other five, the 2.5, three, and 1.5, in that area is kind of where you want to boost it um, if you don't have enough of those kind of mids. And it is a little different than boosting the mids on your amp. Um, I, it was actually quite midi coming out of the amp. It's just once it went through a cab and stuff, you, the 4x12 kind of cuts a little bit of the mids, and this is bringing it back, but in a slightly different way. Um, so... What I'm going to do is solo the guitars just by itself and then we're going to go to the guitar solo because I've done slightly different here to help the guitar solo sit with these guitars. So I'll turn it off. So they kind of sound bigger without the EQ but that's not necessarily better. really hear those mids. 
and then in the mix. Okay, so I'll bring up the solo guitar, that's coming up soon. So with the solo guitar, I was doing something slightly different. Uh, the, the biggest thing with this is not boosting all the same frequencies. It's if you've got lots of different guitar tracks, especially if they're recorded with the same guitar, same amp, maybe you've got similar cab emulations or you're using the same cab if you've recorded, this is all using um, IRs. But the idea is maybe find slightly different frequencies um, but it, the thing with an API style EQ and the reason I like using it is because it's really simple. You just put in that frequency and turn it up or down. You don't, you're not searching around for frequencies. It's not corrective EQ. You're not trying to find a problem. You're actually just giving an extra kind of something to the sound. So what we did here is boost a bit of 2.5. Um, there wasn't a lot of 2.5 in the rhythm guitars. Uh, but then I took out a little bit of 3 to compensate. So you didn't get too much high mids and a boost a little bit of 0 0.8. And that really just helped it kind of uh, sit back a bit. It didn't sound like it was on top of the mix. So if we quickly go back to the solo, let me just find where that is. Uh, here. Um, I'm gonna solo the solo and turn it on and off so you can really hear. So. Um, where is it? Some reason. Oh, it's coming up. Coming up here. Okay, here we go. So I'll keep it off to begin with. We'll first do this first section, then we'll move to the second section. a little bigger. Okay, then I'm going to switch on and off in this next bit. So off. Back off again. Super subtle. Okay, now I'm going to just do all the guitars together so you can see how they sit. So, we'll keep it off, uh, just the guitars. With it on. Too much over the top. Fits in a bit better and with everything. Off. So like I said, it's a very subtle thing and of course you can go to extremes. You can you can really get a real honky tone or, or whatever you want. Um, and like I said, the reason I use, this is for an API style EQ, is just literally time. It took me less than a minute to kind of dial in these settings because you've got incremental boosts, you've just got 
chosen frequency. So you just pick one, you mess around until it kind of works together. You, d you don't spend a lot of time figuring out the cue, figuring out all these things, looking at it and going, oh, that looks wrong um, really quick. And you can use any of these kind of API style EQs uh, for this, you know, this little trick, I guess. It's not really a trick. It's just a kind of easy thing you can do to help you mix. So that was uh, another mix tip. I'm going to try and do at least one mix tip a week from now on. That's kind of the aim. Um, so thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to watch way more mix tips, guitar videos, mix videos, and go check the actual song out. Now, I didn't get to spend as much time as I'd like. My playing is sloppy as hell, but it was a bit of fun. And so check it out and see what you think. And I'll catch you next time.